Hello and welcome to another Chronicle Chamber book review. I am Ankit and today I will be reviewing the Regal Comics Phantom issues 3 and 4. Firstly, if you want to know more about Regal Comics and their new venture of publishing Phantom in English in India in full color, you can check out my review for issues 1 and 2 which is uh, there on the website for Chronicle Chamber as well as a YouTube video sometime back about a month a couple of months or so anyway first of all let's get on to with issues c and for first of all i would just like to say that i am very very happy with uh, these two new issues and the reason is that the quality just feels like two three steps up from what it was in issues one and two so yeah the uh, the new thing about these two issues if you buy directly from regal that is you get supplements basically a card and a bookmark from each issue now these cards and bookmarks basically have the same art as issues 1 and 2 which is by Mr. Vincent Moses Raja and they are printed on very nice gloss high card style paper hard Anyway, coming back to the issues, firstly we'll come with issue 3. Now issue 3 has stories The Iron Python and the Prince Rex Conspiracy. Both stories written by uh, Tony DePaul and they are illustrated by Graham Nolan. Graham Nolan as I have spoken about in the f uh, previous issues 1 and 2, uh, it was an erstwhile and a legend of uh, Batman comics, uh, co-creator of Bane and the cover here is done by Indian artist Abhilash Chako. Now his art is uh, from basically from the story itself. So, like uh, for example, the components of this art, uh, this cover art, like this zombie man here, is basically from this panel itself. As well as the train is a mirror image from the train here, and the phantom here is basically from this panel here itself. So yeah. So it makes context with the story and basically gives you a, a fair overview of what it is. So yeah, great. Uh, unlike the previous issues, two covers which had nothing to do with the story or anything like that, I think uh, something like this is uh, much more relevant. And it's a great job. Uh, next thing I would like to point out mainly is that Regal have really stepped up their quality with this. The print is absolutely great and it's really really the color separation is good and it completely completely does justice to what the sundays were when they were released it the colors are absolutely like what it was there was there is and and, and most importantly it's the paper quality i would say the paper quality is even better if that is even possible so they've really amped up the quality over here that's what i have to say just to give you an example i have uh the graham nolan sundays volume 2 by moonstone now you know these are very expensive books in comparison and the and it has this story as called the ghost train it is basically the same story the iron python is just named differently and if you see it it's on panels here you can see that the quality is pretty much the same and over here they have definitely worked on it because it's a much more expensive book and compilation and they've kept it really well so for Regal for like a 120 rupees, which is hardly like a, maybe just a dollar or a couple of them, it's just really good. I'm really stoked about this. This is some great stuff. So yeah, that's issue three. And I really want to talk about this one. Issue four. This is by far my favorite, favorite phantom in English magazine format publication. And I have read a lot of Fru as well as some phantom and that I have collected over time and this is really the epitome of it. Now this story, now this book sorry, has stories by Tony DePaul and has this uh, and Plutonium Pirates and Jungle Lesson are the two Sundays that have been reprinted here and the artwork here is by Paul Ryan. Now I got to know about Paul Ryan uh, from his work on Gotham Knights, uh, Batman in a spin-off kind of uh, publication of the mid 2000s and 
his work over here especially excellent with the colors that king features did and the colors here are much more modern they are digital sure but they are so well done and it's been reprinted and the integrity is fantastic like for example i can tell you like these are shots in the night time there are, there is a certain muted quality to it and when it's day it has that brightness so there is a fantastic way of illumination and uh, even in a page like say a panel like this yeah like here the jungle scene over here if you see it the way the color separation is done on each of them the gradients how it all you know phases in with each other it's just it's just brilliant the print quality i have to say and over here this is another one look how the flames give a certain kind of illumination and, and all of that is captured perfectly in this book and i'm just stoked with it uh, another thing i must point out is the cover art for this book this is one of my favorite covers of any phantom released in india any book of phantom released in india and it's an original cover by mr luca erbeta now i know he's done phantom work for other publications and mainly few or uh, mainly sorry fru and he's been or uh, featured on a podcast with chronicle chamber you can go check that out on a youtube video some time back and this is exactly what i've been talking about what should be like the standard for any cover and just to illustrate the fact i have this fru trade paperback issue 2 which is again a uh, this this cover is by mr freddy williams the third if i'm not mistaken yeah and this is also digitally colored and it has that certain gradient this is what i was talking about in my last time when i was talking about how the first two issues cover art one to my liking the way the sunlight and all of it the illumination the colors the back you know and this is a morning scene in a sunday and he still managed to keep the grit and everything alive it's a great great cover and i really love this cover work another thing i would like to point out is which is which which i found little strange is devil here is white now i don't know why because devil has always been colored black but for some reason he chose to go with this color and that that's his unique way i guess so yeah great issue and they have actually uh, from the previous issues if i com compare if I'm, i'm not sure if i'm right but the paper stock is definitely a little bit better for sure if it could be possible because the paper stock was pretty good in the first couple of issues and the paper does a uh, you know the paper is very important also to bring the colors out like for example i have a fru 80th anniversary and they have colors here now the colors get very muted also based on the kind of paper you're using now this paper is much thinner standard magazine almost newsprint like whereas this paper is much much thicker which gives you that vibrancy and makes the colors really pop so yeah issues 3 and 4 but uh, i have a little bit of a um, thing to say about uh, the situation here now regal comics has been not getting the kind of distribution and you know sales because of it because of the lockdown and the covid situation the indian reading habit is still based on newsstands and uh, you know local bookstores or uh, not really bookstores more like new uh, you know the local roadside book and magazine stalls but those are mainly closed and with the pandemic and all the whole distribution system for them is kind of haywire and they are completely dependent on direct orders and irrespective of how it feels uh, we are still not that social media or net savvy as such to you know be aware so there may be many fans in many you know remote places who have no idea about 
regal and these things coming out who would probably love to get into it and it's just been a little difficult for them the good thing is fru has been uh, supposedly in reached an ag- agreement with regal to distribute some of their books and i really wish uh, that happens and it it should happen i guess and so the foreign fans can really get this and issue 3 and 4 yeah they should definitely look out for this this is some great stuff and uh, regal have started as far as i know or are maybe going to start some amazon um, sales via amazon.in so any fans from india who want to get their comics from amazon can probably order it directly from regal via them and i would really hate for regal to you know shut this venture down prematurely it's just unfortunate that they it had to come out in the year 2020 and we all know how it is so yeah guys uh, great issues go pick them up and happy fantoming